What's up everyone and welcome to the club. In today's video, we're drawing Miles Tails Prower from Sonic 2. Now for today's lesson, we'll be drawing our character from the side. So let's start on the top left side of the page with the nose. Starting from the very top, we're going to draw an oval. Going all the way around and then back up. Let's add a small highlight along the top. So we'll draw a smaller oval. And then we'll fill in the bottom of the nose. Now with the nose in place, we're going to work our way across the top of the muzzle. Starting from the top right, curve up, and then bend that down. Now we're going to step over to create an overlap, going out and then up. Let's add some fur across the side of the cheek. From the top, we're just going to round this out and bend that out and taper that back in. Let's add another one, going up and out. And then we'll pull that back in towards the side. Let's add one more along the bottom, going out and then down. And just pull that back in towards the bottom of the head. Now from here, we're going to shift the mouth over towards the right side. So we're going to start right in the middle, start by curving this out and then up around that fold and then add a bracket on the end. From the left side of the mouth, we're going to step over Draw the bottom of the mouth coming down, bend that back up, and then from the top edge of the mouth, draw the tongue going out and then down, and it will fill in the top left side. Let's go back underneath the nose and draw the bottom of the head. So we curve this down, go across underneath the mouth, and just pull that up underneath the fur. Now that we've drawn in the muzzle, let's tuck the right eye on top. Starting from the top of the muzzle, start by going up and then bending that across. And then we'll fold the eyelid on top, stepping over, going across, down, and then in. From the bottom of the eye, let's step over towards the left, draw the inside edge of the left eye going up, and then we'll bend that out. And we'll add another fold along the top, stepping down, Curve the eye coming around and then back in. Now you want to have our character looking back, so we're going to push the iris and pupil towards the right side. Starting from the very top, draw an oval, going all the way around towards the bottom, and then pull that back up towards the top. Let's go to the inside edge of the left eye, curve this around and then in. Let's add that highlight along the top of each eye, starting from the left this down and then up. Do the same thing on the right. And we'll tuck the pupil in the center underneath the highlight. Just tracing the iris going all the way around toward the bottom and then up. And then along the inside on the left. And then we'll fill the inside of the pupil. Now we're going to go back over towards the left side and draw the profile edge of the head. Let's start on top of the nose. Start by going up around the eye, and bending that out towards the forehead, round this out, and then pull that in towards the top. Let's add some hair across the top of the head. Starting from the top of the forehead, curve this out, and then bend that down. I'm going to taper this up, and then back in. Let's add another point. Going up, and then out. Go up a little bit higher in the middle, and then bend that back down. Let's add one more point. Going up, and then out. Pull this in, and then down on top of the head. Now from here, we're going to curve the head coming in towards the right ear. Starting from the edge of the hair, bend this up, and then cross. And then we'll layer the ear on top of the head. We step down this up and then bend that out. Let's come down along the side of the ear, pulling this down and then bending that in and we'll create an overlap. Stepping out, curve the back of the head coming around and then in behind the fur. Let's tuck the left ear in behind the head and the hair. From this point, step in, curve the ear going up and then bending that out. And then from the end, come down, bend that in behind the hair, go 
go in between and then come down towards the bottom. Now you want to trace the ears along the outside. Starting from the inside, step in, just follow that same curve going up towards the top. Pull this around and down along the outside. Now I'm going to create a fold along the top. Stepping in, going out, and then down. Let's trace out the left ear. Starting above the hair, going up towards the top, and then down along the outside. Now with the head complete, let's move down and draw on the body. We start with the right arm. We start underneath the head, step down, curve the shoulder going up, then this down and out towards the wrist. Let's curve the bottom of the wrist, coming in and then down, and then draw a straight line going up, aiming towards the shoulder, leaving a gap along the top. Now we go back down to the bottom of the wrist and add the cuff, coming down and then out, and we'll blend this in towards the thumb. Coming down, bend the thumb coming around, and then in. Now we're going to go back to the inside of the thumb, curve the hand going up and then out towards the first finger, and I'll point out the two fingers. Starting up here, out and up towards the tip, round up the finger, come down and then bend that back in. Let's layer the second finger in behind. So we're going to step up, go this out and up, round up the finger, come down and bend that in. And then we're going to curl the last two fingers, starting from the base, step out, curl this around, come in behind the thumb, go up to the top, and curl around the finger. Let's add one more tucked in behind, going around, and then going up, and we'll draw the bottom of the palm, from the bottom of the thumb, come down and up. Let's close off the top of the cup. It's going to continue this curve going around in behind the hand. And then from the top of the thumb, we're going to add a fold going out and up. Now with the arm in place, we're going to move over and draw the fur across the chest. Let's start underneath the head, going out and then down. Taper that back in. Let's add another point going out and down. Pull that in. And we'll add one smaller one along the bottom. Now we want to give the body a slight twist. So we're going to start underneath the fur, curve the body coming down and across. Step back, curve the bottom of the body going out and then in towards the leg. Now let's overlap the right leg on top of the body. We're going to step up, draw a straight angle line coming down towards the ankle. Now we're going to layer the cuff on top of the ankle, stepping over, curve this up and then down. Now from the bottom, we step over towards the right, curve the back of the leg going out and then just bending that up. Now we're going to go back and finish off the foot, starting from the edge of the cuff, curve this around and then in, and we'll fold the bottom half of the cuff, stepping out, going around towards the bottom and then back up on the right side. Let's go to the right side of the cuff, curve the foot coming down and across towards the bottom of the foot. Now we're going to round out the bottom foot going up towards the tip. Going out and then bending that up. From the left side we're going to round out the top of the foot and then just come down along the inside edge of the cuff. So go up, round out the foot, go across the bottom of the cuff and then bend that down. Now we're going to add a thick sole on the bottom of the foot. From the outside, step up. Just follow that same curve going across towards the heel. And it'll separate the top of the foot. Starting from the very top, curve around, and then down towards the sole. Now before we get into the tail, let's separate the edge of the body. Start from the top, so we curve this around the fur, and then out towards the hip. Round up the bottom, and then go up on the left side. Now from here we're going to draw the bottom edge of the tail going around the hand. From the top of the leg, step down, curve the tail coming down, pull this around the hand, go up and in. Let's add a point along the outside, 
coming down. Now I'm going to curve the tail going up and then bending that out towards the tip. Now we're going to draw the top of the tail coming in and then down. And we'll add a point, stepping up, curve up and out, come in and then down in behind the hand. Now the top edge of the tail is going to come in behind the hand towards the body. Let's we'll start from the inside of the palm, come in and then up. Now from here we're going to step up, curve the back tail, coming around and then in behind the arm. Let's continue that curve towards the top of the hand, going around and then up. Bend this around and then out and we'll add a point. Add one more curve going up towards the end of the tail. Come in and then down in behind. Let's close off the back of the body from the top of the tail. Go up and then in behind the arm. Let's separate the end of the tail. We start from the outside. Put this up and in. And we draw a curved zigzag pattern coming back in towards the hand. Let's go to the back tail, start by going up and in, and then down behind the finger. And now that we have the front overlapping layer in place, let's move up and draw in the back arm. Start from the top of the body, draw a straight line going out towards the wrist, and then we'll overlap the cuff. Stepping up, curving around, and then in. From the bottom of the cuff, we'll step up, draw another straight line going in behind the body. Now just like we did along the bottom, we're going to wrap that cuff around the wrist. From the inside, we'll step up, curve around, and then down. And from the bottom, we'll come down and then up. And from the top, we're going to create an overlap, stepping up, going around, and back in along the bottom. From the bottom of the cuff, we're going to curve the thumb going out and then down. Round out the thumb, and just pull that back in towards the hand and it'll point out the first finger. Going out and then up, round out the finger, come down and then bend that in. Now we're gonna curl the rest of the fingers in behind. Starting from the inside of that finger, come in and then down, step up, curve around and then down in behind the cuff. Now that second finger is gonna stick out along the left side. And now we're going to bend the left leg in behind the body. Starting from the bottom, draw the curve going up, and then out towards the knee. Step back, draw a straight line coming down towards the ankle. Let's overlap the cuff on top of the ankle. Stepping out, come down, and then up. From the outside of the cuff, let's step in, curve the leg going up, and bend that in towards the knee. Round up the knee come in and then down behind the body. And similar to how we did with the wrist, we're gonna wrap that cuff around the ankle. On the left side, we'll step up, go around that fold, and then in, line this up on the right, and do the same thing. Let's draw the bottom of the cuff, going around the bottom, and then back up on the inside. Let's go to the bottom of the cuff on the right, curve the ankle, come in, and then down towards the bottom of the foot. And I'll curve the bottom of the foot, going out, and I'll bend that up towards the end. Let's draw on the top of the foot, coming up. I'm just gonna bend that down in behind the cuff. Now we draw that same thick sole on the back side. Stepping up, just trace the foot, going all the way across towards the heel. And we'll add that seam across the shoe. From the top, curve this out, and then down. And that's pretty much it. There's a drawing of Miles from Sonic 2. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. And if you did, please make sure you subscribe because I'm posting new lessons every single day. You can also drop your request in the comments below. I want to thank you for watching, and I'll see you again soon.